about time. What's going on? Yo. Rumor report. Rumor report. This is the rumor report. Talk to him. With Angela Yee on the Breakfast Club. Well, Meek Mill is back in prison for a minimum of two years, and that's for violating probation. He was in court yesterday. We told you he was going to court on Monday, and that's when the judge said he had violated probation because he got arrested uh, for a St. Louis airport fight and for a reckless driving arrest in New York City. Both cases were dropped, right. but the judge said that the arrests alone were violations and gave him two to four years in prison. I thought it was a failed drug test as well. No, no, that was old. That was that oh. was a long time ago. He only got put back for these two arrests, which were dropped, which seems crazy. Now, Jay-Z said the sentence handed down by the judge against the recommendation of the assistant district attorney and probation officer is unjust and heavy-handed. We will always stand by and support Meek Mill, both as he attempts to right this wrongful sentence sentence and then in returning to his musical career. Now, the word is, according to TMZ, they are saying that Meek Mill is back behind bars because the judge has an issue with Meek. They're saying that during a meeting in the chambers last year, the judge asked him to do a remake of Boys to Men's On Bended Knee. This don't even sound right. (laughs) And and give the judge a shout out. Now, Meek just laughed because it sounds like a joke. And apparently the judge said, I'm not kidding. And Meek Mill refused to do it. So she said, okay, suit yourself. Well, isn't that unethical? You can't ask somebody to do something like that, right? I don't think you can now, do that. There, there is a way for him to freak on bending knee. He could have made it about the whole NFL protest and Colin Kaepernick. But why would a judge ask somebody to do that? I listen. That I don't seems know crazy. The can they prove that? Can they prove that the, the judge I don't think they can prove that. But that judge seems like she That's has it out That's according to Meek. one of Meek Mill's attorneys. So... We don't know. If, I don't know if there's any record of this having happened. Now, a lot of people responded and showed support for Meek Mill. T.I. said, was with you then and we still with you now. This too shall pass. You got this. God places the heaviest loads on the strongest backs. We got real love for you out here, King. Nipsey Hussle said to be young, black, and successful. You enemy number one. Hold your head. Meek Mill, the streets chose you. Kevin Hart said, praying for my brother Meek Mill right now. God sometimes puts the toughest battles on his strongest soldiers. I'm here for you, man. Here's the thing, though. If Meek mm-hmm. knew the judge had it out for him, why is he fighting in airports? Why is he reckless driving in New York and putting it on IG Live? Now, we can talk all day on whether or not his sentence was too harsh, but we also have to talk about personal accountability. If you know the justice system is on your ass the way they was on Meek's ass, you have to move accordingly and not give them a reason to send you away. So we don't know what happened in the St. Louis case. He might have did absolutely positively nothing, and the guy might have just said it was Meek's problem, and then in, in New York, it was a video shoot where police were around when mm-hmm. he was shooting the video, so everything was fine. And they the just came back later. Dropped, and both so. cases were dropped. But so. you can't get arrested when you're on probation. And it was the failed drug test that they, they bought up as well. No, that had nothing to do with this one. N- nothing to do but with this probation. But you failed a account. drug test before, is what I'm saying. You're on probation. You can't be failing drug tests. You can't be doing drugs when you're on probation. That like, was the last probation <laughs> hearing. This is saying, a new probation man. hearing. He's changed. He's a different person. Yes, yeah, so and we're acting like this is the judge's fault, like Meek did absolutely nothing. I think nothing this is wrong. the judge's fault this well, time. Well, even the uh, district attorney didn't want to give him jail time in recommended. Now, even the prosecutor said that. I'm not saying he should have got jail time or even got this harsh of a sentence. All I'm saying is, contrary to popular belief, when you're on probation, you can't do what you want because you're popping. All right. Now, Oprah has donated $5 million to the Ron Clark Academy. That's in Atlanta. And here's what she said about why she felt like giving that particular money to the school. Look, I, I, I am so moved by everything I've heard here tonight. I was going to say I'm going to match your half million. That was what I was going to say. But I've now decided... I'm going to get $5 million. Wow. Sheesh. All right. Well, over the years, that school has been praised for how they educate their students. Drop on a clues bomb for Oprah. And I need to hear Will and Jada say that about Tyrese before I believe it. All right. I need to hear Will and Jada utter those same words about Tyrese before I believe that they really gave him five million. Of Oprah and money, you know, she's invested in Weight Watchers. She took a 10% stake in the company. And now that stake has grown over the past 25 months. As the pitch woman for Weight Watchers, she has had her stock raise 617%. I heard that. That's crazy. Oprah can't lose, man. So congratulations (laughs) Uh, to her. First of all, Oprah won a long. Long <laughs> time ago. What do you mean, Oprah? Oh, saying Oprah can't lose, she won a long time ago. And she's ago. been updating everybody about her weight loss. Uh, she lost up to 42 pounds since last January, so that actually attracted a lot of new customers as well. Wow. I'm, currently, I'm currently reading her book, uh, The Wisdom of Sundays, because you know I'm a huge fan of her Super Soul Sunday podcast, and the book that she put out about that podcast is incredible. All right, well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, hey, hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.